What is up, my dudes? And the one girl wants to see me stranded on the side of a highway. This is Bike Spirits and Brews. Let's kick that intro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we kick this one off, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. New videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, over and over and over again, like infinity. Uh, let's get with all the other stuff. You want to save 15% on a Cardo communicator? Check my referral code down below. You want to support me and my do gooderness? Check out my coffee page down below. New uh, videos exclusive to them coming uh, sometime in September. Uh, and you want to know why I'm asking you for money? That link's also down below. So, today we are heading over to Manchester, New Hampshire to pick up my buddy Dennis and his new bike. I'll show you that when we get there. But we are living dangerously. We're living on the edge. We might not make it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but my needle is pretty much on E or is on E now. I don't know. I haven't gotten the low range signal yet on my gas gauge. I'm pretty sure I can make it to Manchester. <laughs> but if I can't, uh, we might be pushing for a little bit. Right now we're at exit five. The next exit would be like six I think and uh, that's where we need to be actually the next exit is basically a fork where we can go we can continue up 93 north or we can go to 293 I need to go to 293 so I can meet up with Dennis over at Manchester Harley which is right next to a gas station as well so let's see if we can do this <laughs> oh dumb things I do Well, bare minimum, we're gonna make it to the exit. Seriously, the amount of times that I spend like riding around on E, I really should just get like one of those little gas bottles. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to, but I should. <laughs> oh man. Well, at least uh, on the bright side here, if I run out of gas at this very moment, there's a gas station there and everything's on the downhill, but yeah, we're gonna head over to BJ's because, well, got a BJ's card. <laughs> yeah, I do. And uh, I get a discount at BJ's. <laughs> a little longer than a few minutes later. All right, gas is success. No pushing today. Sorry, one girl. All right, let's bounce over to Manchester Harley and uh, see where Dennis is at. I'm actually, uh, I'm pretty impressed with myself. I told him quarter past 11, it's like 11.02. Oh yeah, I'm early. All right, so we picked up Dennis and his lady. We are heading north. We've got about 123 miles to get to our beer destination. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's not too bad. Round trip, like 500-ish miles today for a beer. I call that a good day, right? <laughs> uh, you can't really see it in my mirrors right now, but Dennis does have a new bike. And we're gonna check that out when we get to our destination for sure. It's also Dennis's birthday, so make sure, like, down in the comments, you say happy birthday. You're gonna be late because, well, we're not live streaming this, but you should do it anyway. You know, cool stuff like that. All right, let's keep rolling. Bon Jovi. Whoa, we're halfway there. <laughs> so I don't know if I mentioned it before, but we're going to the Copper Pig in Lancaster, New Hampshire, I believe. It's towards the top of the 69 with Vermont. So 
the reason why we're going up there is because a couple years back I went camping up in this area and the wife, my buddy, his girlfriend and I just kind of went exploring and uh, we ended up in Lancaster. We saw this place that looked really cool, uh, decided to stop, get a beer, grab a little bit of food and it was really good. It was a really cool place to go. So obviously it's quite the distance to get there but I've been wanting to go back. So when I did uh, my beer video, where it was the uh, New Hampshire Brew Fest, I'll pop that here. Copper Pig was one of those places that actually showed up and we drank. So it reminded me how much I enjoyed them and how much I wanted to go back up there. So I've been looking for a reason to shoot back up that way. So today, it's, you know, whatever, it's a nice day. Supposedly it's gonna be raining later, whatever. Yeah, it's like, no time like the present. Let's go up to the Copper Pig. So that's what we're doing. I hit up Dennis, like last second this morning, and I was like, hey, wanna go drive two hours and get a beer? He's like, all right. <laughs> and here we are. All right, we're up in Franconia Notch. We're almost to our destination. I know I keep saying almost, but to me, everything's almost, whatever. <laughs> um, up this way, actually, used to be the Old Man in the Mountain. If you don't know what the Old Man in the Mountain is, just start flipping over quarters until you see the New Hampshire one. Uh, but just like any other old man on earth, eventually he fell down. Cue the sad music. So, no Old Man in the Mountain anymore. It's still a New Hampshire thing, symbol, something, sweet, sure. But uh, yeah, let's let's keep rolling on. Oh, you got in trouble, bro. <laughs> Not quite at Lancaster yet, not quite at the Copper Pig. We just passed like Bethlehem, New Hampshire, stuff like that. You know, this this area itself is where you live. If you just want to get away, have like the mountains as your backyard, <laughs> be in the clouds, and uh, maybe be around skiing and snowboarding a lot because there's a lot of mountains to do that up this way. Get out to nature, all that stuff. I absolutely love it up here it is so awesome um some of the views i mean like these are like multi-million dollar houses i'm sure we'll end up passing some real soon but they are just absolutely incredible and i can only imagine what it's like just like waking up every morning and looking out and just seeing like some of this stuff it's just crazy so yeah i just want to share that with you We'll check it out when, uh, you know, we come across some houses. And I'm pretty sure there is some good stuff going on around here. But seriously, look at this. Look at that farm. Look at that. That is, they're waking up to this. This is, this is great. Scenic View Farm, yeah. I, I concur. I could definitely be cool living up this way. I wonder how the internet is. Work from home, good to go. You know, all that cool stuff. All right, we're in town. It says we're like six miles out. Some of this is looking familiar. Last time I came up this way, there was like a farmer's market and all kinds of stuff. It was just, it was a cool little weekend. I think, thinking back, I think it was actually like the same three day weekend that, you know, we're here for right now. So, hey, maybe we'll get some farmer's market. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, well, there's. I just saw like T Rex Jesus. <laughs> Hopefully, I caught that on camera. That uh, that deserved a second look. <laughs> oh man, that is awesome, dude. Even Dollar General has a cool view up here. What the hell? All right, for real this time, we are like pretty much there. <laughs> it's like less than a mile. I don't know, we're actually in Lancaster. So, I mean, it's it's just about there. I think it's uh, down and around this corner, hopefully. I don't know. If not, I'll just edit this all out so you can't call me a liar later. <laughs> oh, oh, see, see, like, you know, even my GPS says we're almost there. Did I just go the wrong way? I don't know. Nope. I know where I am now. I so know where I am. All right. Right over this river or somewhere thing, stream. I don't, it's down here somewhere. Okay, there we go. The copper pig. Let's turn that down. We have made it. We made it. Dennis! Dennis! It's his birthday. He's old. If he's anything like a tree, you just count the grays in his beard. Yeah. It's like 300. Yeah. yeah, right. Dennis, you got a new bike, right? I did. What'd you get? Road Glide. Yes. It's official. I've saved my kidney. <laughs> my firstborn and everything else under the sun. Welcome to a life of setting aside at least 25% of every paycheck so you can constantly upgrade your bike. I feel like I'm going to be like more like 40. Yeah, probably like 50, but I was, <laughs> I was trying not to give you too much sticker shock right out the gate. <laughs> Greece is playing at their movie theater. Not even just once, there's like multiple times for Greece. Whew, we're back in time right now. All right, we are leaving the Copper Pig. It's uh, back there over my shoulder. The place is just awesome. It's, it's just cool to like go on a nice long ride, get, get a beer or four, get, <laughs> get some decent food, and just have an excuse to go out with friends and go have a good time. So yeah, that was literally the whole plan today. We are just going to ride back to Manchester and from there I'll probably grab some gas and uh, head back down to my area where I might continue drinking. I haven't fully decided yet. Yeah. <laughs> we'll definitely get some more cool views before we wrap up this video because honestly, like a lot of this video really should just kind of focus on uh, just this area I mean it's cameras don't do it justice for sure I mean it's just uh, it's it's really impressive around here it is also really funny because it's supposed to start raining at like four o'clock it was all blue skies so we got up here and then we got some gray so I think we know where the rains coming from and we're kind of close to the Canadian border so thanks a lot Canada yeah I'm gonna blame Canada <laughs> All right, let's do this.
right, uh, we are out of the White Mountains. We're actually getting close to Concord, New Hampshire. We're probably gonna sign off here. I mean, honestly, we literally just did like 300 miles round trip to go get a beer and uh, as an excuse to ride. So I'm okay with that. To me, that is a successful day. And I encourage you guys to do the same. In fact, hell, pick a brewery that's far away from you or a bar or something like that. Just go make a video, go ride out to it. Grab some friends, get them to come with you. Just enjoy the trip. Enjoy hanging out with some friends. Enjoy making up some dumb excuse to go for a ride and then go do it. Hell, if you don't drink, whatever. Go to your favorite like restaurant that's far away or ice cream shop, whatever. Just get out and ride, especially my northern friends, because really, uh, that that thing is coming soon, winter, and uh, you're gonna have to pack your bikes up. So you really should start enjoying your riding if you haven't yet, or you keep looking for excuses, or you keep putting it off. Get on your bike, go out, ride, have a good time, make some friends, take your friends. All right, all, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share this video with friends, share it with family, share it with that one dork you know who has a bike and uh, it never sees the outside of his garage or off of his driveway pavement. He loves this stuff, trust me. I'll see you all on the flip side.